makes this ride as neat as it is. I'm going to ask Colonel Melissa Zebley to come forward and accept the plaque. And coming to... When this event started 15 years ago, Special Olympics approached the Delaware Blue Knights for Chapter 1 and wanted to know what they think. Well, I think they thought this would be a great idea, and I think you'd agree with me. They are the presenting sponsor and the creator of the Ride to the Tide. They've got more than 70 bikers who are in this great event today. They also provided dozens of volunteers to help organize to make this go so smoothly. I'd like to ask the president of the Delaware Blue Knights, Michael Pollinger, to come forward and accept the plaque. And Alex Brathwaite is going to come forward and present it to him. Come on up here, Alex, this way. Oh, I'm sorry, not Alex, Jordan Little. Jordan Little, okay, come on up, Jordan. You got confused there. <laughs> Jordan Little is also a member of the Get Wildcats. Michael, thank you for all you do for this event. We very much appreciate it. Our next plaque is to the Delaware's Office of Highway Safety. They're part of the team that helps ensure a safe ride today. Accepting on their behalf is the director, Kimberly Chesser. Kimberly, come right in front of the flag here. Deborah McDaniel from Special Olympics is going to present the flag to Kimberly. Thank you again for being here today. And last but certainly not least, a longtime supporter of this event, Delmarva Power. They've been part of it in one way or another from the beginning, accepting on their behalf is Phil Babala, the Vice President of Electric and Gas Operations. And Deborah's going to come back up here to present one last flag. Once again, one more big round of applause for all our sponsors and supporters for helping make today possible. Each year, the governor renews the proclamation declaring May as Motorcycle Safety Month. Senator Ennis is with us today to present that proclamation. Please welcome Senator Ennis. as always for being with us. I've been asked to announce that there are four motorcycles parked on North Street out front here that need to be moved immediately. Otherwise, we can't get the 823 bikes out of here. So if you rode one of those motorcycles that's parked out on North Street, please at this time 
head out there and get that move for us. We very much appreciate it. All right, you already mentioned that the Delaware Blue Knights have 71 riders here today, motorcycles representing their club. But we would also like to recognize another club that had the most bikers outside of our sponsors, 24 riders from the Del Marva Riders Club. And we're gonna ask their club president, Matt, to come on in front here, and Jordan Little is gonna present him with our final flag. Once again, the Del Marva Riders Club, 24 bikes, Mac, thank you for your leadership and your recruitment of so many bikers. It's our goal to ensure everyone has a safe ride. Here to provide the blessing of the bikes is Chaplain Cheryl Austin of the Delaware Blue Knights, Wilmington Police Department, and Christiana Care. least the volunteers that were here at the crack of dawn this morning, law enforcement officers for Special Olympics Delaware, the Blue Knights group, and the ASA sorority. Let's give them all a big round of applause for helping make this such a great place when you got here this morning. And now please join me in welcoming Senior Corporal Dan Barry of the Delaware State Police who will provide our safety briefing. possibly three wheels. Yeah. Check your tire, tire pressure, fluid levels, lights, especially your brake light. Others' lights depend on it. You should have a full tank of gas already. If you're riding with a passenger, make sure you adjust your suspension, tire pressure to accommodate the passenger's weight. The group will be riding in a staggered formation. Always maintain at least a two second falling distance from the bike directly in front of you and a one second distance the bike so, three wheeled motorcycles will ride in the center of the lane, not stagger. Be mindful these winds down south are about 30 to 35 miles an hour if you want to avoid any sideswipe damage. Never ride alongside another rider no matter how 
good a rider you are, you need time and space to react to sudden problems you may encounter. Remember you are riding in a group. Whatever you do can and will affect the riders behind you. Watch out for potholes and warn riders behind you of any approaching dangers. Use hand and foot signals as noted on the back of the card you were provided at check-in and registration. Upon arrival at the destination, follow all parking directions to ensure your own safety and that of those behind you. As the size of the ride increases, the need to park your bikes efficiently is critical. Also, be mindful there are several motor officers that will be passing by you on the left. Don't cross over the double yacht line, the white line. We want to keep that lane open for the motor officers passing by so we can block those next subsequent intersections. Have a safe day. Thank you, Senior Corporal Barry. Okay, it's time to get your raffle tickets out. Last thing we're going to do here, we're going to start with the red raffle ticket. Sarah Giles is going to pick one out and hand it to me. This is for the Walmart Harley Davidson gift basket. So get your red tickets out. Sarah, bring me up the ticket here. All right, here we go. Number seven, five, seven, three, seven, two. If that's your number, come on up here. You're going to get your gift. The Rommel Harley Davidson gift basket. Thank you, Rommel, for that donation once again. 757 372. 757 372. If that's your ticket, come on up here. And now it's time for the blue ticket. Tommy Fields, special independent.